Um, Dad had brought his fishing stuff. It doesn't feel real yet. Like people, like he, friends and family, keep saying to me, like, "Oh, are you nervous? How are you feeling?" And I, I feel upset, but and like excited, but I still can't quite comprehend in my head that I'm doing it all tomorrow. It's crazy. So we're in St Peter's Square. We're in my room. <laughs> How many people can guess who this is? Oh, I'm not up for them games. I shall tell you. And I've had this mojito because it's not an ordinary mojito, it's called Sweet Pea, which is the theme of my YouTube channel. Always been called Sweet Pea, so yeah, having this Sweet Pea mojito. <laughs> everyone so I'm ready to go to the airport I look absolutely horrendous today I'm wearing no makeup on this flight because that it's just a waste of time for starters I'm gonna cry at the airport when I leave my parents and second who wears makeup on a long flight no one I don't know I'm like so emotional like, I want to cry but I'm, hold, I'm trying to hold it together I just yeah okay I'll see you soon <laughs> also shout out to my friend Kendall who bought me this uh, Toronto Maple Leafs hat This is from my dad, I've great time, do a great vlog. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit, that's not something me and my dad have always watched together. I, l I love Wallace and Gromit. Who doesn't love Wallace and Gromit? I would like to excuse myself that I look like an absolute tramp. Yeah, I, I need to, I'm never shower now. Yeah, my skin's all gone really bad, but I've got to do all my facials and stuff now, but it's about 3.30 here, and I do have a wee bit of jet lag. Um, feeling tired because I've been up since four this morning but I thought if I just keep up till about nine tonight then I can get up early and have a stroll in Toronto tomorrow and I've just got my mum to let her know I'm here and I've just messaged my nanny and a few friends just yeah to let them know I'm here and it's quite funny I've had like quite a few people tracking my flight from the supermarket I've done a little food shop I bought some bits for my hair for the week for staying in Toronto but it's always better to have some food shopping and then keep going out to all the while but yeah I'm near a Tim Hortons like literally next door so I'm going to indulge in the coffee tomorrow morning but yeah I'd sooner be back early and have a good night's sleep and then I can enjoy the rest of my week because I'm so tired and I'm not a person who likes long flights but yeah, so I'm just going to be chilling tonight, probably watch a nice film on Netflix. And yeah, but I really miss my mum and dad. I FaceTimed, not FaceTimed, Skyped my mum a few times today. So, but obviously it's later now and they are five hours ahead. So I can't ring because I don't want to wake them up. And I've kept them up really early this morning because going to the airport. But yeah, I love the lighting in this place. I'm loving this. Loving life.
happened when you put this in your suitcase and all the powder comes up? Yeah, I've had a good night's sleep. I'm feeling more like myself again today. I finally got some makeup on. And yeah, I'm getting ready to go downtown and have explore. I'm so excited. Still can't get used to this time difference. <laughs> so a funny story happened this morning. Um, I had my iPad on last night and I connected to the internet, turned airplane mode off and everything was fine. And I woke up this morning and it said 12.41. And I was like, what? Because I didn't want to sleep in because I purposefully stayed up late last night so my sleeping pattern would be all right. Because um, when you're when from UK and you go to America, it's better to stay up later than go to sleep otherwise you're going to be up really early in the morning. Um, so yeah, and I looked and I was like, what, it's nearly 1pm? Because I didn't want to sleep in that way because I thought, it's never, my sleeping pattern is never going to write to find I'm going to be really tired then when I have to get up early. And I looked at my work clocks on my phone and it was uh, 10 to 8. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was it was uh, like just gone half seven. I was like, oh, thank goodness for that. I was really happy. Okay, so I'm just having my first Tim Hortons coffee. I've just had the original blend with the cream. Yeah. Some by the Rogers Centre and sat in front of um, the CN Tower. And I've just found the Canada letters that I'm going to try and ask someone to take a photo of me for. And then I'm not sure where the Toronto letters are, I think that's more city centre down there. Yeah, I just love it. I've just um, bought a ticket to go and see the Blue Jays, which I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow night they're playing Atlanta, so that'll be cool. I definitely want to go to a game though when they play the Yankees or um, a local rival. That'll be really good for next year. Yeah, baseball season's nearly over, so it's good to go to a game. And it was quite reasonably priced, I think. Say where I'm sitting as well, I think it's quite good. But you pay that, me to go to a League 2 football game at home, and you pay about the same price, so really good. Okay, so I'm just having my first burrito in Toronto and this lady were telling me, I ha she says, are you from England? And I said, yeah, she went, you have the most beautiful skin. I wish I had skin like yours. And it just made me cry. Oh, it's so nice to say. There's such positive people around here. She was like saying, oh, your skin. She was like, can I, can I touch your skin? I was like, yeah, she's like, so soft. She's like, it's nothing like that over here. But it's because my Nana Nina went to New York in, when she was younger. She, um, Oh, she went to all the stores in Manhattan and they said what do you do with your skin they thought she used all the top products and everything and she just said I just use water and they couldn't believe that because they have to probably use all these products in there because it's a different climate over here and yeah it's just oh I can't wait to tell my mum and dad about this like the skin compliments they got it all and they go over and she went why do you keep it she, was, I, she says have you got layer of foundation I was like yeah a little bit she says yeah but look at your arms and your chest and I was like God, my skin, skin's phone up at the moment. I used to always have burritos at my student union with my friend Polly. So, hello Polly, yes, thinking of you when I'm eating this. Yeah. If we I see revision session at the library we'd have, we'd go and get a burrito. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. Shout out to Kendall, both whole teams. Um, yeah, we, don't, we don't like the Bruins. Thieves hate the Bruins. So I'm in the Hockey Hall of Fame Museum. I was just speaking to this Canadian car and I got my ticket. And he was just saying, well, he says, were you from England? I says, yeah. And um, he says, oh, I must suck for you. Because yeah, I told him I watched the Toronto Maple Leafs. And he says, I bet you have to wait for like 3 a.m. to watch the games. And I have done that at times because he moans that he watches, um, it must be the Sharks in California, but he has a three hour time difference in Toronto. And he says, you guys have it even worse. But yeah, I just said, I'll watch the highlights next day. And I was telling him about Nottingham Panthers. And he's like, yeah, we know the Panthers. Best is here, so I've got Bruins. Yeah. So I'm just in the Hams dressing room and my friend Kendall supports them. So yeah, this will be our absolute heaven. Where is the leaves room? Just winding some uh, fans up about uh, in the dressing room, shouting to go leaves go, and they was like, get out of here. So I've just done amazing time at the Hockey Hall of Fame Museum. 
I must have my other make for leaves hat. I love this one. I liked it more than the other one. Chocolate. Chocolate. Beautiful and yummy. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. How are you? Mr. Cupcake. How are you? Mr. Cupcake. How are you? Mr. Cupcake. Good morning. So it is Tuesday today and it's raining in Toronto. You can see it. Yeah, it's not the best of days. It's like light drizzle. So I'm not doing much outdoor stuff today. Yeah, I'm going to go to St. Lawrence Market now. I think I might Uber it down because it is starting to rain again. But I don't want to like stopping because I want to make most of my time while I'm here. There's so many food. I'm going to go and try some. Ooh, I don't know what to have. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm going to get food now. Oh my goodness. Poutine is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. to um, Lake Ontario, so the waterfront. We are huge, but we're far south enough that we like this episode. So I'm just on Toronto's little beach on these big green chairs with Lake Ontario and the Zen Tower Park. Good morning. So it's about quarter to eight in the morning um, and I'm getting ready to go to Niagara Falls today. I'm talking quiet as everyone's asleep. But yeah, I'm super excited for Niagara Falls. First time I've ever been. So yeah, got my shades on, little crop top and trousers. And yeah, should be good. I'm just gonna have some breakfast now because I've got to leave in five minutes. But yeah, I got up really early, but somehow I still managed to be late. Typical beige. Okay, so I shall see you in Niagara. Beautiful country, Canada. 2.5 million population, Toronto, greater Toronto is almost 5 million. And Canada has 34 million. Nice city, nice country. We're fourth largest city in North America now. We were fifth before Chicago was fourth. Officially, we are fourth. Chicago is fifth. Very safe city. We're south in Jarvis Street. Hi, Jarvis. Okay, so we've just stopped at this little shop for some um, maple syrup tasting and looking around. Oh my, look at all this maple syrup. Mm. This is so good. I could eat this all the time. This place is called Maple Leaf Place at Niagara Falls and it's amazing because it's just a shop where you can buy stuff and then I'm going to a food court now. The over there. I know, the boats get really near to it, don't they? So it's super touristy here. Everyone's told me that, but it's just one thing you have to do if you come to Canada on the US border. Yeah, okay, I'm ready to get on. Pretty far back now. Bye. 
eyes. If you love doing your hair, don't do it before you come here. The natural world wonder. Oh, ready to get wet again in the mist. Niagara Falls is super expensive <laughs> it's a very expensive place but it's like a once in a lifetime thing so hello so this is our amazing tour guide for today he's been showing us around <laughs> Salim the Dream. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time here and I'm glad I've come with King. Is it King's Tours? Yes, Salim, my name is Salim. Salim, Salim this is Salim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And please come again. And wherever you want to come to Toronto, Niagara Falls, we give you a good tour. Yes, thank they do. Thank you very much. And <laughs> she's a wonderful girl. Oh, Enjoying thank you. the day. Oh, I wish I lived there here. I could just sit and read up here and just. Yeah. This is like the less touristy part. Very dry. Say like no after your third sip. So, 